Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've been waiting to do this video for like two years and I keep forgetting to do it. So tomorrow I'm going fishing. I'm going up on some small streams for some native brook trout and uh, we're going to be using some really small flies. To some of you bass fishermen, um, size 14 is probably pretty small, but yeah, that's that's what we're going to be using. Uh, I'm going to tie up some Parachute Adam style flies. I'm going to make a fly, not completely, but the body is going to be made out of his fur, the dubbing. So if you've never made flies before, dubbing is basically just hair, squirrel hair, rabbit hair, and uh, looks kind of like this. Um, and then you would just put it on the thread as, to make the body of the fly. I kind of like in this color here. Hmm. Fenwick. Hey, bud. Mind if I uh, borrow some of your hair? So we're gonna get some quality cat dubbing for this fly. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome if this works. I've never tried this before. It's literally the same thing. It's like basically the same thing. Cat fur, dubbing, same thing. So we'll see how this kind of works, but I'm at the point now on my flyer I need to add a little bit of dubbing not sure how the thread's going to take this, but we're going to try it. Really don't need that much either. It's a pretty small fly. It's a size 14, so... Oh, it looks like it's going to work. I probably should use a different color thread, but... Actually, that goes on pretty good. Fenwick, bud. I might have a job for you now. Alright, let's see how this looks. Which way did I turn it? This way. Sort of amazing that this works pretty good. Bada bing, bada boom. She's done. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. But you can see it's basically a parachute Adams with the cat fur. All right, so we got these guys all done. I got two of them. Let's go fishing. All right, let's see. I got like a light tan colored. That's what I'm using. Light tan colored, yeah. Oh, got, oh, first cast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to come up. Oh no, that's a good rookie. Yeah. That's a good rookie. Cat hair fly. Wow, nice little native. <sighs> okay, let him go. And that water is cold. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Nice. They want it. Here we go. There. No. That's a that's that's a better one. Yeah. I gotta net this one. <laughs> ah. There you go. Oh man. Sorry about the crappy GoPro audio lately, too, guys. That should hopefully be fixed within the next for the next video. Oh, Jim's got a nice one down there. Oh, got one. Oh man, this is a good fish too. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at that fish guys. Oh that's awesome. On the cat hair fly. 
a healthy release. He's charged it up. I think I've got like 12 or 13 fish now that I've actually put my hands on. You've seen how uh, small this water is, so fish that size. That's a multi-year class fish. It's been in here a little while. So no, we're not going for wall hangers, but that's a trophy in my book. So that little eight, nine incher put a nice little bend in this rod. Fought pretty hard, he was digging in the rocks and stuff, but uh, this little fiberglass rod's pretty sweet. I'll show you. They make it in a couple different sizes. This is the longer size they make, but it's a Reddington butter stick, seven foot six, uh, four weight, and it's a three piece. So, um, linked it in the description for you guys if you want to check it out, or if you want to get one for yourself. If you're going to be doing smaller stream fishing like this, I would actually recommend probably like a, the three or two weight in the shorter size because this this rod's a little bit long for this type of stuff. Um, kind of gets hung up in the trees, but I didn't really buy it for this type of fish. I got it for a little bit bigger water than this, but it works. Definitely works, so pretty versatile. Oh, oh, I got him. Oh, yeah, you did. It was going through. Yeah, I didn't think he hit it. Yeah, sweet. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, he completely swallowed it too. Yeah. Got it. Whoop. I know. Alright, got another nice, not nice, but decent sized one. Alright, you guys want to check this guy out? Another nice little brookie. Go. This is kind of weird. <laughs> it's got like an inch of moss over the top of it. Oh, oh, that was a good fish right there. Oh man, he he didn't he didn't take it, but he swiped at it. Oh, yep. There we go. Yeah. Well, everybody, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I caught 32 native brook trout today on those cat hair flies that I tied last night. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys later.